Hey guys, so in this video I'll be talking about uh, different brake valves and basically what their purpose is for uh, vehicles. So one of the first ones is the uh, residual check valve and that's used on uh, drum brake systems to maintain pressure in the system so that wheel cylinder sealing cups can stay tight inside. So at the wheel cylinder, right before the little tips come out and engage your shoes, they have little rubber cups on there. Uh, if you don't maintain that pressure, they can uh, collapse and start sucking in air and you don't want air in your brake system. You want that uh, fluid to just be there with no air in it. Uh, they're located at the uh, rear brake line outlet at the master cylinder and that's because uh, therefore mo most brakes, drum brakes are in the rear so it'll be at that one that goes to the rear brakes and it lets fluid uh, leak out and not in. So that way if you get a leak in your system, uh, only fluid will go out and air won't come in. You don't want anything to come in. You definitely don't want air in your brake system. And, but they've been uh, eliminated after uh, wheel cylinders got internal spring and ceiling cup expanders. So basically at the wheel cylinders, uh, they started getting springs that pushed out for it. So instead of having the pressure do that pushing out and keeping the pressure out, it's essentially a spring that does it. Uh, your next one is the uh, proportioning valve, and basically that limits pressure to the rear brakes because uh, when you get vehicles, uh, especially uh, front wheel drive vehicles, a majority of your braking is done in the front and uh, versus the rear. Like a uh, front wheel drive, you get 80% braking in the front and 20% braking in the rear. If you had all that uh, equal pressure, your rear, rear wheels would lock up and you don't want that. Uh, they're in op under light braking until a uh, certain pressure is reached. If you're just doing light duty braking, you're not applying that much pressure, not enough to lock the rear wheels up, they won't work yet. But after you reach a certain pressure, then they will start op operating. And again, it's basically just limiting pressure to the rear brakes to prevent rear wheel lockup because they don't, the rears don't need as much braking as the fronts do. And they can also have a height sensing proportioning valve. So if you have, say, a pickup truck, and uh, you're running it with nothing in there, there's not that much weight back there, and you don't need much braking pressure. But if you have a full load, if you, like say you have a one ton, and you have one ton of weight in the back, now you need a lot more braking in the rear because a lot of that weight is uh, shifted to the rear. So a uh, height sensing proportioning valve uh, basically monitors and uh, changes the pressure depending on weight, on how much weight is in the back of it. Next one is the uh, metering valve. Those are uh, used in uh, disc drum brake systems and basically they delay the front brakes to give time for brake shoes to travel. So in front brakes your brake pads are always touching your rotors. As soon as you press on the brake those shoes, those brake, uh, brake pads are already touching it. They're just applying pressure. Whereas in the rear drum brake system when your shoes are out there they have to have time to expand and travel a little bit. So your metering valve delays the front ones to allow the shoes to finally travel out. Once your shoes get out there and start making contact with the uh, drum around it, that's when the metering valve now lets your front brakes engage. And so essentially, once they, the shoes get out there, your front brakes and shoes do it at the same time. And then your proportioning valve limits those rear shoes. It doesn't act the same. The proportioning valve limits the pressure to the rear, so well, the metering valve delays the front so that again you can have time for those rear shoes to expand out whereas the front pads are already touching the rotor. And uh, one way you can tell if it's inoperative is the vehicle will nosedive when it's in op because uh, all that traveling, all that brake pressure will apply just to your fronts and you're only getting the front braking system so it's, you're going to feel that nose dip forward. Then the last one is a combination valve and, and it just combines other valves into one unit. It's not really anything itself that has a certain purpose. It's just, as it states, a combination valve. So it'll oftentimes combine the uh, proportioning valve and the metering valve. And it can even include things like the uh, pressure differential switch. So as it's, again, as it stated, it's basically a combination of the valves together. And those are the most common uh, valve systems on brakes. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.